What's up everyone, it's Bkels here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a water battle healing loadout and how to use it basically. Um, just to forewarn you, you're going to need a decent amount of skill points to do this uh, at a high level, and it'll take a little bit to get used to because it's it's kind of a combo type of thing without combo powers, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, so spec wise, you're going to go resto, straight resto, because you're still going to need to have that base resto to do your heals. You can go resto and might, but I prefer just to go resto. Um, and the reason for that is, unlike Celestial, you don't get healing based off of your damage. You just get healing based off of your healing. So your damage is just kind of an additional thing to do. So resto and all these mods obviously get your socket affinity bonuses for the extra uh, power and resto. Um, Weapons wise, I like to have uh, my hand blaster specced in uh, just in case I need extra power. Uh, since um, you're going to be using a lot of power, you're going to sometimes be at the lower end, so it's nice to be able to use a weapon combo to regen some power. Um, stat points, we're going to be going super powered uh, for the extra power regen. We obviously lose 5% resto, but we'll be making it up with the extra bonuses. Uh, that I'll show you in a sec. You know, crit healing chance, crit healing magnitude, crit attack damage, crit attack chance, and we just spec into those for the extra damage. And since you only have 200 skill points on test server, it looks like I don't have many more for um, anything else. But on live server, I have like 278, and what I do is I go 100 into resto to get that 10% extra resto, and then I put the rest into might and power for power and the extra might damage. Uh, once you get to 100 of both, you can kind of, you know, feel your way around to which um, one you want to spec more. If you feel like you need more healing, then you can go more resto. If you feel like you have enough healing, you can go more might. That's that's all up to you. So loadouts wise, we're going to be going with high tide. And this is the main move um, we're going to be using for combo basically, because we're going to be using this before we use any of our other moves, because it will grant additional effects. Uh, we have Tsunami Strikes, which is going to be our main move we're going to be using over and over because it uh, is kind of like a priority heal, um, but doesn't heal as much. So on live serve, I get about 2,500, which is half a priority heal, but that's still pretty good just for being able to DPS with it. And then it also reduces the cooldown of High Tide by 4 seconds. So basically, if we're spamming this, the High Tide cooldown is about 7 seconds, which is pretty quick. Uh, our next move is Mending Wave which is a three person heal and I use this kind of as my priority heal since I don't have one so if I have um, high tide up I use my high tide and then mending wave for a priority heal if I need extra healing uh, that's what I use that for blessings of the depths uh, it does a burst heal for normal uh, normal if you don't have high tide up but if you have high tide up it basically acts like divine light um, for 300 power cost, which is pretty nice. Uh, Solace of the Sea is going to be our move that we always have down because we're going to need healing over time, um, no matter what. And it basically serves as you know our little buffer before we hit our high tide moves. And then Tempest Guard is a eight person shield. Uh, while you use high tide afterwards, it grants additional healing. So basically, in boss fights like US, when you know you're going to get hit by a group AOE, you're going to hit high. High Tide and Tempest Guard, and you'll take a little damage since it's 85% shield, and then it'll heal that back, which is nice, so you don't even have to heal it any additional afterwards. So, for healing, this, you're going to always want to start off with Solace of the Sea, and then you're going to go straight into Tsunami Strikes, and then if you need to hit a group heal, you do your shield, and you're going to have the healing afterwards. And as you, Oh, well, I have to hit somebody, one sec. <laughs> I forgot about that. And as your high tide gets cooled down with um, Tsunami Strikes, you're going to high tide into whatever else move you want, and you'll have five seconds or so. So you can't just hit high tide right afterwards over and over. You're going to have to have, like, a purpose of hitting high tide. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. Uh, it's better example shown in the video afterwards. It's kind of hard to explain uh, what you would do when you do it. So hopefully this video afterwards helps you out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.